All right, let's see how this works. Hopefully I got your attention with some M&Ms. Fresh from 7-Eleven. We're working on Common Core Standard for equations and expressions, eighth grade. And this one's all about uh, solving real world and mathematical problems leading to two linear equations with two variables. Does that sound like fun? Well, let me relate it to M&Ms for you and maybe it'll get better. I wanna use this little sample here of, as you can see, how many M&Ms do I have total? Well, I have seven, as you can tell. And I have uh, R, which I'm gonna use for red. I have two of those. Yellow, I have five. Now, we're kind of working backwards from a teacher or the test writer's perspective here, but I want you to understand how simple this can be. And I often teach in my class, you know, if you can break something down to such a simple level that you could teach, you know, a first or second grade little brother or sister, chances are you could make it work for more complicated problems. So, for example, here I've got uh, yellow. You can say I have... Uh, one less than three times as many reds, right? You could also say I have one more than two times as many reds. There's always a couple more than one way to write an equation to represent two quantities, but let's go with, uh, with this one here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the M&Ms away. Hope you got a good mental picture of that. Okay, and you might see a problem like this that says there is one less than triple the number of red M&Ms how about we use the word yellow there Yellow is one more than one less than triple the number of red M&Ms. Okay, pretend you never saw the M&Ms ahead of time, and we have this. The total is seven. How many of each? Now, at this basic level, you could probably figure it out mentally, which is great because we're working on the skill of doing it with algebra. So, since you already know the answer. Let's use some algebra to test it out. Then we can do a sample of something you don't already know the answer to and make sure that still works. Okay, so pretend this is the test question you're given. Here's what you can start to write just based on that. Okay, that's all we can write. Based on the problem, yellow is one less than triple red. Yellow, the word is means the equal sign. One less than triple red. See, all these words in the problem mean something, and if you learn how to translate that language, you can write a nice little equation here. Something else we also know is the total is seven. That means red plus yellow equals seven. So the way you solve a problem like this is we're going to use substitution and we're going to, instead of yellow, we're going to put that in. So we've got red, then we're going to substitute 3 red minus 1 instead of yellow and the total is 7. Then we're going to combine like terms. That means put the same type of things together. We put all the R's together. I'm going to get all the numbers together on one side. For R equals 8, divide both sides by 4, tells us what R is. Okay, that means red equals 2. And then when I go back here, <clears throat> I can say 2 plus y equals 7. Take away 2 from both sides, and we can see that y equals 5. I could test it by saying, hey, here's my proof. Yellow equals 
3 times red minus 1. Is that true? Yes, it's true. So there's how we take a simple problem using real everyday things. It's easy to teach, easy to learn. We already know the answer before we start. But the important thing is that we learn an algebraic way to do it. So when the numbers are more complicated, it's just as easy. Okay, here's my example for you. Let's try it out. You don't have to copy this whole problem down. You can just uh, freeze the screen, read it, and see if you can work this out. I'll read it to you. There are two flavors of Jolly Ranchers left in Mr. Snurd's bucket. Sour apple and grape, the green ones and the purple ones. The number of sour apple is three less than double the number of grape. There's a total of 24 Jolly Ranchers in the bucket. And then the prompt, this is what you might see on a standard test, write expressions to represent the number of each flavor. Then use substitution to solve for how many of each flavor there are in the bucket. So I'm just going to highlight a few things for you here. Let's work on this one together. I'll give you a sample one to do by yourself in a second. I'm going to highlight a few things here. The word is, there's less, there's a three, double, grape, and sour apple. I just highlighted all the things you need to write a little equation that compares sour apple to grape. And here it is. Sour apple is three less than double the number of grape. Now the reason I put the three afterwards, did you notice that up here? When you're reading the sentence, the three less than came first. But here's the key word, is than. Before you can have more or less than something else, you need the something else, right? Here's what I mean. If I have uh, $5 and then I have two less than that, then I have $3. I have to have the $5 first before I can use a comparative word like then to either add or subtract from it, okay? So you need the thing first, then you can take three less or whatever, okay? So sour apple is three less than double the grape. So there's our equation comparing the two quantities. Total is an equal sign, 24. And since we only have two flavors, that means sour apple plus grape equals 24. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, since these two things are equal here, that means I can substitute and trade to make the problem look like I want it to, which means I want one variable. When I have one variable, I can solve this, and then we can figure out what the other thing is. Okay? So I'm going to take this 2g minus 3 and put it there instead of the SA, instead of the sour apple. So here's what that'll look like. I have 2g minus 3. All right, that's what sour apple used to be. Plus grape equals 24. Then we will combine like terms and solve. What that means is I put all the G's together. There's three of them. Then we get all the numbers on one side, all the letters on the other side. I don't want to know 3G. I want to know 1G, so I need to divide. And finally, I ran out of room, but the answer is there's nine grape ones. Okay, so then I go back to my original thing here, and I say sour apple plus nine equals 24. We can tell that sour apple is 15, but we're going to go through the steps here. Okay, and maybe I also want to proof it up here by taking my two answers and making sure that it makes my original problem true. Always test it against the original problem to make sure. So I've got 15 equals 3 less than double the number of grape. 
That means 15 equals 18 minus 3. Is that true? Yes, it is. Yes, yes. So there we go. It looks like a lot when you're done, but hopefully while it's happening, it doesn't seem like a lot. Hopefully it all makes sense. Now I'll give you a sample one you can do by yourself. And I got this one straight out of my brain, so Google that. All right, I'm going to read it to you, but you can go ahead and pause it and do the work if you want. I'll return in a second and do the work with you. Hans can shoulder press 20 pounds more than half of what Franz can lift. Together, they can lift 242 pounds. Write expressions to represent how much, <coughs> excuse me, write expressions to represent how much each buff dude can lift. Then use substitution to solve and find out the actual numbers that they're lifting. Okay, hit pause, do the work, I'll see you in a minute. <coughs> okay. Uh, the bell's gonna ring in three minutes, my class is coming in. I better get with it here. Hans can shoulder press uh, 20 pounds more than half of what Franz can lift. Together, they can lift 242. Hopefully you can see here that I'm going to take that and put it there. I'm going to substitute. That gives me half of Franz plus 20 plus Franz equals 242. Combine like terms means one and one half fronds plus 20 equals 242. Balance it out. Let's get the numbers. Whoa, hold on there. That's what happens when I get in a hurry. One and a half fronds equals 222. I'm going to change this to a decimal here. Easier on the calculator. Divide both sides by one and a half. And the verdict is hundred and forty eight pounds. Franz can lift one hundred and forty eight pounds. Now we're going to find out what Hans can lift. Hans is one half of 148 pounds plus 20 means 74 plus 20 is 94 for Hans. And let's see if the original problem is now true because the problem said that Hans and Franz together makes 242. Let's test it out. 94 plus 148, 2. 42. It's true. And that is how you solve a simple real world situation with two variables using algebra. Oh, it's beautiful. Take a look at that. It's a work of art. Every time you finish a problem like this, you should take a step back and admire the beauty of it. It's good stuff. All right, I'll make another video where we have three variables. Stay tuned for that, but until then, I've got a class coming in the door. I will see you later. Thank you.